Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Michigan where a sovereign citizen has a, well, a boatload of traffic tickets and he expects the Attorney General of Michigan to help him out in this particular matter. But you know what? I don't think help is coming from the Attorney General. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now calling the matter of people versus Timothy Tally Williams. This is ticket number on the docket today was SP1283888. Count one, drove while license suspended. Count two, open alcohol in the motor vehicle. Count three, no insurance misdemeanor. Not on the docket are tickets number SX2454328. Count one, open intoxicants in a vehicle driver. Count two, furnish false storage info to police officer. Ticket SP1452301, driver's license never acquired. Count one, count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Count three, drive unregistered, untitled vehicle. Ticket SP1466801, count one, drive unregistered or untitled vehicle. Count two, no insurance misdemeanor. Count three, driver's license never acquired. Ticket number SP1418401, count one, open alcohol in the motor vehicle driver. Count two, tinted windows. Count three, operator or front seat passenger failed to wear a safety belt. Ticket number SP1467130, tinted windows. And tickets SP1409982, count one, drive unregistered, untitled vehicle. Count two of that same ticket is drove while unlicensed. Wow, that's a long list of charges right there. Did he happen to include the kitchen sink in there? Because, well, that would just make sense at this point. Appearances for the record, starting with, uh, I don't know if he was given counsel or not. Counsel? Aaron Rock on behalf of Mr. Timothy Williams. Mr. Uh, Williams, state your name. I uh, counsel. Yeah, I figured you'd reject a lawyer. I mean, are you one of these sovereign citizens that actually believes that there is a trust somewhere out there in your name with a billion dollars or more in it? Because, you know, that's not how that kind of thing works, dude. It doesn't work at all. What was that? I object to counsel. Your Honor, uh, I spoke with Mr. Williams. He's saying it's not him, uh, and he's all rights reserved. His name is all in, in all capital. I object to representation. What was that, sir? I object to representation by you. Okay. So you would like to represent yourself, Mr. Williams? I'm not representing myself. I'm just around speaking appearance, trying to clear this matter. Okay. So you have to be the person in order to clear these matters. You just can't appear on behalf of someone unless you're an attorney. Are you an attorney, oh. Mr. Williams? I'm not the person, but I'm the live living not the uh Williams. Are you Timothy Tally Williams? Do you know Timothy Tally Williams? I am Timothy Williams. The okay. living the living breathing Timothy Williams, not the uh the all cat that stays on my ticket. Well Mr Living Man Timothy Williams uh yeah uh you do realize that lawyers do represent living people, right? I mean that's the whole shtick of this thing, isn't it? Well, because you believe that lawyers only represent dead people or something like that? Dead corporations or something like that. But which is a bunch of BS anyway. But please continue on with your, uh, well, rather inane stupidity. Okay. All right. So do you want to try and resolve these today or no? Okay. So you need an offer? Is that what I'm hearing you say? Because we can try and resolve all these tickets today if you want to. Well, I'm just, because as a U.S. national, I have rights protected by the U.S. Constitution and the Supreme okay. Court. So if you if you travel, drive, ride, anything on the city streets of Detroit, then you have to follow the rules that the city of Detroit has imposed. And so if you have not followed these rules, then you receive something called tickets. And these tickets are given to you based on the license or prior license or identification ID that is given to you. 
So we can either resolve these today or we don't have to resolve them. It's okay. But I would like to try and resolve these so that you can move forward and do whatever you need to do. Yes, I would like to resolve them. But as the officer is seeing in his computer that by the Secretary of State, my ID has been rescinded, canceled. Oh, it was rescinded and canceled? Uh, dude, that's not a rescinding or cancellation, dude. Uh, you may very well have had your uh, license revoked or suspended or something like that. And besides, Michigan law states that everybody's supposed to have a driver's license. And that is definitely backed up by the Tenth Amendment, which says that, uh, well, it grants states the rights to create laws that are not exactly covered in the Constitution anyway. So therefore, these states have control of who has a driver's license and who doesn't. And if you want to drive on the roads, the public roads of any state, you've got to abide by the laws of that state. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You are nothing special, dude. I have a passport, and that's, I'm traveling, I don't drive. I just drive here. Hold on, but if you drive in a vehicle, you need to have a driver's license. Your passport does not enable you the ability to be able to drive on the streets of Michigan. I travel not for business and commerce. I just same thing, same thing. They have to have they have to have licenses as well. Have you ever heard of a truck driver without a license that drives on the commutes on the free, freeways, roads, or byways? It does not happen. You have to have a license to drive on the city of Detroit, state of Michigan, all fifty states are under, are under my assumption and ability. So, Mr. Williams, I can't go back and forth. I have a lot of people on my screen. I know you can't see. We can have this discussion, but I, it just has to be near the end of the docket if you don't want to resolve it right now. Okay? But for the record, Your Honor, I don't okay, drive. Go ahead. For the record, okay. I don't drive. Okay. okay. Your Honor, so how do you want to resolve it today? If you don't want to resolve it, I have to move to the next person, Mr. Williams. I would like to resolve this matter. Okay. All right. So would you like Your me Honor. to get you off? Yes, Attorney Snyder, go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt. Alexa Schneider for the people, P80322. If the Mr. Williams in front of us does not admit that the ticket is in his name is made out to him, I'd ask that the Mr. Williams on the ticket be given a warrant and that this gentleman be removed so we can continue with court. Boom. Roasted. Yeah, what do you have to say about that, Mr. Williams? Let's see what you got. How many more sovereign citizen arguments can you pull out of your ass to save you from this? Mr. Williams, on these tickets. Excuse me. I said, is it you, Mr. Williams, on these tickets? Because that's oh. fair. That means that I'm talking to someone who doesn't doesn't have these tickets in my courtroom, and so that person has not appeared. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm assuming that it's you. Are these your tickets, sir? Oh, if you assume, yes. Better. Oh. Okay. I stand so do you want to? Mr. Williams, do you want to resolve these or not? We can't keep going back and forth. You want to take care of these today with some type of plea or no? I'm That's the only. I'm trying to resolve them, but I'm being threatened by prisoner if I don't agree to these tickets. Well, who's going to send you to prison? I'm not sending anybody to prison today. I'm fining people. That's all I'm doing. I'm giving them fines, monetary fines. The prosecutor just said she issued a warrant. She recommended a warrant be issued. Right, but she's not going to get arrested, but she's saying if you're not going to say that you're the person on these tickets. Mr. Williams, I have 20 people. I can't argue with you at the beginning of the docket. I can argue with you at the end of the docket. So I'm going to skip over this matter so we can continue. Let me get everybody else out, Then I'm going to give you all the time in the world, and we're going to figure out what to do with you today, okay? I don't mind. I don't mind taking the time. But I got all these other people on here who are looking like, come on now, okay? So just give me a moment. Well, good job, Judge. I mean, he was trying to delay it anyway and bog down the system. But you showed him. Now he can just uh, deal with that at the end of the uh, uh, docket. So let's get to carry on. Many, many minutes later. Williams, I'm going to go back on the record in your matter. I just uh, I just emailed. Okay. This man, like, I want to know what do I need to do to get medical records? All right. For my client. Recall in the matter of the people versus Timothy Talley Williams. These matters were called on the record previously. 
Um, I took a moment off. Uh, we had quite a busy docket this morning, and I want to make sure that we could give Mr. Williams adequate amount of time to be able to have it. And all of his questions answered about the matters that are before this court today. Um, appearances for the record, starting with the city attorney, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Alexa Schneider for the right. people, P80322. All right. He continues to not want counsel. Is that correct, Mr. Williams? Correct. Okay. Can you state your name for the record, please? Uh, Timothy. Last name? Williams. Okay. Sir, now you've had the opportunity to sit and look and see how everything pans out and how everything works, Mr. Williams, right? Did you want to be presented with an offer today, or how do you want to move forward? Well, the offer was to um, get all this. So the offer was, I think, so he had um, some extra cases, Attorney Snyder. So it was FTD, failed to display a valid operator's license, and an open alcohol passenger that was being offered in exchange. Um, he did have a couple of tickets in default, um, another open intoxicant driver. Attorney Snyder, and it was forged or false police information to a police officer. He may have just given him like a um, ID that expired. Um, but if you plead to those two cases, the remainder of your cases will be dismissed. No, I was talking about the agreement between me and you was to get this sorted out today. That's Wait a second, dude. Uh, I think you're missing something here because the judge offered you a deal on all those tickets and... Uh, you're just not seeing it? Are you blind, dude? Maybe you should get your eyes checked, or maybe you should seek out legal counsel and get this thing resolved properly. That would probably be the best thing you can do about it. Right, so, I'm, I, so the options are, so these are your options. You can, you can ask for a pretrial. That'll give you some time to get documents together and to get everything back in order and then present it to the court. You can ask for a bench trial. That's a trial before myself as the trier and finder of facts. Every single one of these officers who have made these allegations would have to appear on that date and come into court. Or you can ask for a jury trial. That's when uh, the officer is in person. Uh, six citizens of the city of Detroit will make the decision based on the law. Officers still have to come in. You will have to come in at that point in time. And then we can resolve it that way. Those are the three. Or you can plead guilty or plead responsible at this point in time um, to these to the offer that has been extended to you. Those are the four things that we can do to resolve it today. And I guess the fifth one is if you don't want to do any of those and it just remains as is and goes, it just remains there. And then eventually it goes into warrant status. Okay, so I need time to hear from the state attorney and the chief judge so we can set up. Uh, I don't know how you hear from the chief judge, but I'm, 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 waiting, to huh? I'm waiting to hear from the judge. Too. From the chief judge, I'm state attorney. I'm talking about me. I'm waiting to hear. From oh, him, so. the state attorney. Oh, okay, she's on here. The state attorney is here. She can give you the offer. No, I'm talking about Donna, but we can set a pre-trial. Okay. You have some other state attorney or something that you're talking to? Uh, Dana. He means Dana oh, Nessel, like, Your Honor. Oh, oh, the AG, Attorney General. Uh, I don't think Michigan's Attorney General has time for your BS. I mean, he's got to help run a state. He doesn't have time for soft tards like you. Okay, thank you. And you're talking about the Chief, the Supreme Court Chief Justice? Okay. No. Is that who you're talking about? Talking about Williams and 36. Oh, the chief of my division, uh, yeah. Judge Correct. Larry Williams. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I said, huh? Some rights and I'm just, just, I don't understand what's going on. So. Okay. I don't know if they'll be able to help you. I really wish you would let us assign some counsel to you. They may be able to talk to you and, and help you understand a little bit better. Well, I, I tried, but he not listening so i was taking them on hands and there lies the problem right there you smooth brain soft hard 
You say he's not listening. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. This is a matter of a complex set of laws that you yourself don't seem to comprehend. That lawyer, uh, he's got, uh, well, more insight to it than you would ever have because that is his life's work right there. He has devoted his life to the study of law while you have not. Sometimes, sometimes you have to be willing to understand that they're going to give you the law, not not necessarily what you're following, but the law that we practice in the state of Michigan. I have right? no contact. If I have no contact with the Secretary of State, then like, why am I going to do this? I'm going to proper procedure to have my rights protected under the Constitution and Supreme Court. So, of Michigan, of Michigan, what? No, I'm saying the Supreme Court of what jurisdiction? Michigan or the United States of America? United States of America. All right. They want to have jurisdiction over local jur matters, though. And that's going to be the problem. We're going to run into every time, Mr. Williams, that local matters are held. The, the Constitution extends the right for us to locally handle certain matters, such as ordinance violations, misdemeanors, driving offenses. Right. So if I'm not a U.S. citizen, I'm a U.S. national. What jurisdiction does that fall under? I'm not a resident or a U.S. citizen. Well, dude, you still have to get a driver's license in the state of Michigan, even if you say you're not living there. But when all, all actuality, you have been living there for quite a long time, perhaps your entire life. I mean, what is so hard to understand about this simple little concept? And you're not a national. You are a U.S. citizen who just pretends to be a sovereign citizen just so you can get out of traffic tickets and everything like that, which never works. And look how it's working out for you here. Oh, you don't live in the United States of America? I live in the United States of America, but not under the oh, jurisdiction. So that's your resident. Are you born? Like, do you have your? You said you have a passport. Is the United States of America passport? United States of America, but not the United States. The federal territory. Oh, you didn't get a. Oh, so you don't have like a federal passport given to you? It's not. A, it's not a passport issued by the United States of America. It is now. My status is corrected under. <laughs> You are a citizen, Mr. Williams. You are a citizen of the United States of America. It sounds like you're a citizen based on your address of the city of Detroit. <clears throat> That's just where you reside, travel, move along, drive. All those things are all the same. Travel, move, drive, be a part of it. Now, I can give you a pretrial so you can wait to hear back from those people and those folks so that they can say whatever. I don't know what letter they'll provide you with. But Mr. Williams, at some point in time, I'll say this to you. You have come on today. So I know that you want to be, you want to be compliant in some way, or else you would have just ignored me like everybody else kind of ignores me unless it just fall into nothingness. So I know that you're responsible enough that you want to handle these matters and get them out the way. I want to, I want you to resolve them and I want to help you resolve them as best as possible. And I, I'm giving you some options. I'll give you a pretrial today so that you can think about it. But I think that we could be able to come to some type of resolve and resolution and resolve this and so that you don't have to be bothered with me. But it's going to have to be one of those options, just so you know. OK. Yes. No. Uh, what was the question? No, I just say yes, no. I just, I mean, I'm willing to give you a pretrial today, but at some point in time, your being here lets me know that you want to try and resolve these. So at some sure. point, we need to look forward to resolving it in some type of way, okay? Like sure. whether we need to get the officers here for a bench trial so that you can talk to them or see if they even come. Um, sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. Um, they so do. we just need to figure out how to resolve it at some point in time. I hope they do because they don't even have the correct complaint. Like, what am I? What is the complaint? What is the complaint for? Well, no, I'm like, what? What am I here for? Dude, you violated traffic laws. It's a lesser crime, but still a crime nonetheless. So don't go into that victimless crime BS at this point. It, it really doesn't work in the actual court system. So zip it, dude. 
So you do, do you want to just set it for a bench trial instead then to see what officers come that day? If I'm set for a trial, I would like a jury trial, but for now, I'll be pre-trial. Pre okay, we'll do a pre-trial for right now, okay, Mr. Williams? The officers won't be here for a pre-trial, though. I'm letting you know that. So you okay. still want the pre-trial, though, to see what they respond back from you? Okay, all right, I can do that for you, okay? Mr. Okay. Williams, we're going to work this out. Deep down inside, I know you want to resolve this, and you're going to be reasonable, okay? I just need you to think about okay. it, right? Because I've been reasonable today. Okay, and I want you to resolve this. I'm trying, to be, I'm trying to be reasonable. You are. You're being reasonable, Mr. Williams, okay? You're at least having a conversation and you're not cutting me off and being rude. And I do appreciate that very much, okay? Yeah. And you've been extremely patient. So I appreciate you today, okay? All right, so we'll see you back October the 24th. Does that work? Does that give you enough time to hear back? When did you send off the information? Because I want to give you enough time to have responses, too, from them. I also sent it off when I sent you a abatement, but I sent it off last week. Okay. Yeah, let's get October 24th should be enough time because that gives us like two months. Okay. Perfect. Okay. October 24th at 8:30 a.m. I'll set your bond zero dollars. Um, and then I'll move one of your tickets out of default. I'll place it into regular status so that we can handle that as well. Okay. All right. All right. If there's nothing further, I'll see you back on October 24th at 8.30 a.m., sir, okay? October 24th, mark that on your calendars. Will he appear? Will he not appear? And uh, what will this be like? Will it be further stupidity coming out of his mouth? And how will the judge react? Well, I hope she uh, puts it on the internet because this should be a fun thing to watch because you know how much we are, love stupidity and soft cards around here. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.